Here we go. Indiana beats Ohio State 86 70. Um, so, track and Trace Jackson Davis did not go crazy tonight as far as points. He did not score his 30, but he was on the floor. And he allowed a lot of kickouts uh, to uh, Jalen Hood Shafino. A lot of kickouts. And with that said, he ends up with 24 points. Uh, Trace Jackson Davis uh, ended up with 18 points. He had uh, five assists and 10 rebounds. Still not a bad night by no means. Just not what he's been putting up the last three games. So, uh, but Miller Cop ends up, I think, with five points, um, a couple of rebounds. Uh, Renew ends up with 15 points. Uh, I think it's eight rebounds, three assists. So, the team is playing as a team right now. I mean, even Gunn, Gunn got out there, he got a couple points. It just, it was an overall good uh, play as a team. And they're right before the second half, right before the second half, it was tied for a minute 30 to 30. And then Indiana went on a 16 0 run. And it was 46 to 30 at halftime. That was crazy. That run they went on was defense just tied, tied down their offense. They couldn't get nothing going. And their our offense, up and down the court, scoring, and they couldn't be stopped. So, Indiana as a team, they got it. They got it going on right now. Uh, there was a piece of the, what, I, what I would call the Jumbotron, the scoreboard, that fell down. And I believe it's from the crowd going crazy. It's, they got crazy loud. The place was vibrating. They were so loud. So, I believe we got so much energy in the building, it actually dropped a piece from the Jumbo Toronto. At least that's what I'm going to say. Um, I don't know what you guys just wanted. That's, that's, it vibrated the shit loose. Uh, they did, at halftime, they came back. The halftime ended up being a little longer, but they did it on the court. They waited around until they double-checked, made sure it was secure, that made sure nothing was going to fall. Nothing else was going to fall. They checked it out real well, and then they started the second half. Uh, did that piece did fall close to an Ohio State player right next to him? I mean, it was like kind of at an angle behind him, pretty close to him. So they definitely needed to make sure that was going to be safe for them to play on. It was, um, but uh, we really played up and down the court. There was a lot of play off the bench. The bench scored th uh, 22 points. I just great play, great play. So. Uh, there was a, there was, I think there was a little too much play involved. They were letting them play. They really were. They were letting them bang a little bit, but then they would call some net knack fouls. However, they did have the referees mic'd up. That was interesting. That was extremely interesting. The referees were mic'd up. You could hear what they were saying, uh, to each other, as well as the coaches. It was interesting because they, it actually shows that they communicate with each other to come up with one decision and what's being said. Um, and then they're, they're trying to teach each other as well. Hey, I, I, you know, there was a referee says, I can't see that much. Uh, well, from where I'm sitting, you're going to see if you can get a better angle at it at this point. I mean, it, it was, it was very interesting. So yeah, there was a lot of fouls. I think was left on the court. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, race Thompson, uh, he, he got a total of uh, five points, two assists, nine or four rebounds. He, he showed up. I mean, he, he didn't do a lot, lot, but he was on the court. He made it really hard for anybody to kick out. You know what I mean? Because they, they, had, they, had they had to step in on him as well. I mean, he, was dish, he, did, he did a lot of good running up and down the court, getting people to double team him as well. Um, it's going to be nice when he's 100%. He's just starting to get into the flow of things. I think this is his only his second game back. Uh, but he played a lot of good minutes. He A lot of good minutes. Uh, Galloway, five points. Didn't have, I don't, he didn't have any assists, but he had a, a couple of rebounds. So, but I believe Miller Cop uh, and Galloway, I think even Bates got a three. They all had threes. 
And of course, uh, Jalen Hoshifino with the uh, 24 points. I believe he had a total of seven threes, so. <laughs> he might have not had seven. It might have been six, but yeah, he went off. I believe he was, uh, I, I, I don't swear to this, but I'm pretty sure he was 14 for 18 shooting. He was on fire. He was on fire. I'm telling you, if we can sustain our three-point threat with Trace Jackson Davis in the middle, we're going to be a rough team to beat. If we can keep this up, then we're talking Final Four possibly making it to the championship game. I mean, yeah, you know, the sky's the limit. They keep playing like this, the sky's the limit, and they're only going to get better. They're only going to get better. So Jalen Fashino, he's going to be a, he's going to be a beast. He's going to be. So I'm hoping he stays at least three years. I'll be surprised if he doesn't do freshman and sophomore and go into the draft. Hopefully, uh, Woodson can uh, get him to stick around because he's going to be a beast for us. Uh, he just he he. Commands the floor really well. A lot of good no-look passes. Um, he sees things on the floor a lot of people don't see. He's still a little sloppy here and there. More times not. But you can you can see the freshman come out any once in a while. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Good game. Good win. I, uh, I can't say enough about this game. <laughs> if you haven't seen this game, you need to go see some of the uh, some of the highlights. Because this game was extremely well played by Indiana. That pull that they did right before halftime kind of did it. They they basically played consistent the rest of the game. They didn't really they didn't go on a run really, but they didn't let Ohio State go on a run either. They just kind of stretched it out, played it out, burned the clock, and, and we win. I don't like that too much though, honestly. I do not like taking your foot off the throttle. Because if you take your foot off the throttle, you have a rhythm that you're already in. And you can actually mess up the complete play of all your players, how they're how in sync they are and everything. Because you're talking about some players up and down the court the entire game. And then you want to back off the throttle. So they have to adjust to the next speed of play. But it worked out. It worked out. They played really well together. The bench, a lot of the bench played the second half. Uh, they played really well. Um, yeah, so it was total of gun baits, renew, uh, uh, race, Galloway, uh, Miller Cobb, Jalen Jackson, Spino, Jackson Davis, all scored. And they all, it was spread out pretty well. Jim Lufus, 24, Jackson, 18, uh, Renew, 15, Bates, 7, uh, Miller Cop with 5, Galloway with 5, Gunn with 2. I mean, it just, it was spread out. I mean, it, it, it looked good. And we killed them in the paint again. So what we've been doing is killing them in the paint. Yeah, we 20 points at halftime in the paint. I don't know what we end up with, but it was 20 points at halftime. But yeah. So, if you haven't watched Indiana play, start watching them play. They're playing better than ever right at the moment. Hopefully, they keep this up. And if you like this video, please hit a like. Hit the like button. If, you, if you're watching this video still, I've rambled a little bit. Do it once in a while. Uh, if you're still watching the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you doesn't, don't like this video, like I've said before, I have something down there. Fumble through my videos a little bit. I got some shorts, either funny or really just overall good shorts about certain things, certain subjects, colds a lot, but by all means, please leave a comment, tell me what you think, tell me how you think Indiana's improving, tell me what do you, what do you think are their as the aspects of what they can do with this team, your aspects, and uh, whether or not they can actually make it to the final game, final four, whether they... You know, what kind of what kind of team do you think they are? Purdue is coming up. It's a rival game, and man, I know Purdue is good though. I know they are. You guys you guys all have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Cause sometimes you just feel tired. Feel weak. But when you feel
feel weak, you feel like you wanna just give up, but you gotta search within you, try to find that inner strength to just pull that shit out of you, and get that motivation to not give up, and not be a quitter, no matter how bad you wanna just fall flat on your face, and collapse, so I collapse, I'm spilling these rats, long as you feel them, to the day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing them, cause when I am not, then I'm going stop, cause sometimes you just feel tired, Give up. 